Hello Pisces and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is your girl here with your forecast from the energies from January 13th through January 22nd, 2021. So Pisces, while I was meditating on your energy here, I heard the song Private Eyes by Daryl Hall and John Oates. Private Eyes. This tells me that you or your person here are looking in on each other. There's like a spying from a distance energy here. I see that all eyes are focused right now and eyes are on you or on your person here is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling on the 13th, which was yesterday here, okay, on Wednesday, you had an alignment of Capricorn and Pluto that's bringing in a major breakthrough here. It's going to expose something. So I feel Pisces that this is either you. I did see the energy of the masculine water sign, which is you with the tower energy. And this is exposing something here that brings in a major breakthrough, okay? And let me see where we can put this right now here. And let's shuffle the cards here. And I, I've been shuffling and I keep on seeing the tower. So you could have Scorpio in your chart here or Mars, which is Mars in Scorpio. You could have Aries here. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio. Or this could be in your chart. So let's see what we have. Pisces, this reading may not resonate for all of my Pisces out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind, loves. Let's see what we have. Thank you all for the tons of positive comments, positive energy. Thank you all for the newcomers and the subscribers. I greatly appreciate you, Pisces. So let's see what we have. What are the messages from the Wisdom Oracle? Okay, and let's see what we got. Pisces, thinker, number 44 here. And this is that strong Mars energy here. This is two master numbers, four, four. I feel right now you're contemplating. There's an energy where you're in your mind and you're sitting on top of the box here with the 44 and you're deeply thinking here. I feel that there's someone here in your past, someone here that you're, you're still not making a move forward. You've been in the energy here of, of using a lot of and I'm feeling that the word here that's coming to me is overthinking, okay? But you're thinking about making a move is what I feel with the 44, which comes to an eight when it's in numerology. This could be someone here that's been going back and forth, around and round, back and forth, and not in and out of your life. And I feel right now you're, you're making a decision of which way to move forward here with the deep thinking. Yeah. And it's saying unfinished symphony. Yep, something here is not finished. I'm feeling the energy of something that, this could be a person in your past here with the number 10, which is unfinished. There's a song inside of you, Pisces. There's a book that needs to be written. There's something here in your life that is not finished yet. I'm feeling this is a karmic cycle here with justice where it's coming into fairness. I did see the Six of Pentacles in your um, shuffle, and it's letting me know something here is not done. And you're thinking about a solution, a resolution, how to bring peace and fairness into a situation here is what I'm feeling, because I'm seeing the mending, which is 52, okay? Mending a, a friendship, mending a relationship here, energy, where two people can move on with knowing that they've cleared their conscience. I'm hearing clearing your conscience here. Okay, so which is very good. There's something here I feel. I'm feeling heavily a surprise. This could be a surprise message. It could be communication, and it's going round and round. Yep, and there is the Fibonacci code, 25. There's a connection that you have here, a deep spiritual bond, a connection here with someone. I'm feeling that this could go into a past life connection, Pisces here. Something that's been going back and forth and that's taking me to the eight. Eight is the infinite number. This has been going round and round and back and forth 
And there could be a set a situation here with loyal heart where you just can't get over someone here or someone can't get over you. But it's like a situation where you didn't finish this. There's unfinished business here is what I'm feeling. Something that needs, and that was a lot of cards. There we go. Okay, Pisces. A higher, par, a higher power. Many are getting this card. This is the shift in your consciousness. So when I say a shift in consciousness with the higher power, it's like you have a third eye. You're having epiphanies. You could have had a dream. You could have had a vision with this person. Higher power is shifting people right now, which you might think I'm high and I'm stoned and I'm like, I'm high on the energy here right now. We have a lot of Mars energy here with the number four, strong masculine energy, a strong divine feminine energy at this time. And you're very connected with this higher conscience level right now. It's like you're having a deep, deep insight and vision. And you're being guided. You have heaven's help here, Pisces. It's saying, yep, a fork in the road. This is that stalemate energy with the number 13 here, which reduces to a number four here. And it's like there's arrows go this way or go that way. A path is here that's opening up and you need to make a choice. I feel that this has been going on and it created overthinking, which creates blocks. It creates restrictions. A lot of suspension energy here is what I'm feeling. Something that's not yet finished. And it's saying all that glitters here, number 16. And there's a mask here. And this is what's taking me back, Pisces, to the eyes, the private eyes. And do you see the mask here? The masks are falling down now. This is revealing that all that glitters is not gold here. It's like something here was, was not greener on the other side is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling um, definitely exposing something here that brings in that major breakthrough in your life. Shifting the energies here, revealing a truth to you is what I'm feeling, Pisces. And this is definitely that energy where the breakthrough comes in when you have the clarity that you require in your situation right now because you're someone here who has a very loyal heart. There's a lot of love here in this relationship that I'm picking up with. I'm picking up that there's no communication right now. Something here that could be someone here from your past. Okay, let's get some tarot and I wanna give a good, another shuffle. So Pisces Collective. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. See, there's the lover's card, which represents Gemini. There's that seven of pentacles. Energy. Seven of pentacles is doing a lot of analyzing. There's an energy here of, of also harvest time. Reassessing something. It's like, you know, the timing is now. Timing is now to something to be revealed. And you're thinking about it heavily. Let's see what the energies are for the past. Let's see the, the overall energy. Where's Pisces right now before we pull out the cards? What is Pisces energy right now? What is their overall? What is the situation for Pisces? Okay. There's that Ace of Pentacles. You have options and you got two. I'm seeing two, two, two. You might be seeing two, two, two. This is definitely an energy where I was picking up overthinking sleepless nights a lot of anxious energy here this is air and fire here this is aries leo sagittarius and this is also gemini libra or aquarius i feel like the energies are pulling you back here because you're doing a lot of thinking you want to move forward there's something here that you want to leave behind because it's no longer working for you and you want to make future plans you're moving from that well, you're now having something that's very bringing in an awareness. I feel you have the Ace of Wands in your hands right now. This is making future plans, bringing in progress. This is also networking. This is also social media. Someone could be at a physical distance. There could be a separation here with distance and location. Something here with the energy of swords energy. This is anxiety, despair. This is a very intense energy that creates a lot of doubt energy here. And I feel that's where you're at in a stalemate energy where a decision here that needs to be made. 
the Ace of Pentacles is offering a new beginning here for you. This is a very, very, this is a very, what's the word I was going to say? This is all about a golden opportunity, stability. It's like a path is being opened here to you, a golden path where you're climbing up to higher, higher knowledge, higher clarity here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Something that's bringing in a new manifestation that brings in a solid gain that offers long-term beginnings. Now let's see what's in the past. What's in the past? What's in the past for Pisces? Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, Four Pentacles. This is holding on to something very tightly. This that uh, creates that resistance is what I'm feeling. And this is the past energy. It's not like not revealing, not letting go of a situation. Past energies for Pisces. Show me the past. And there's an Empress here energy. This is Taurus energy or Libra. This is ruled by Venus. So there's that divine feminine energy here. This could be someone here like I'm seeing judgment. This could be someone in the past that came back that you thought was dead and gone. This is a relationship that you thought was over. This is coming back because there's a judgment called here. There's something that is not finished yet with this energy here with the judgment card. This is like an energy in the past that you had a higher calling is what I'm feeling, especially with the Empress. Now, the Empress represents in the past, you could have a baby, you could be a mother, you could be someone. And there's that Ace of Pentacles. There was an opportunity in the past here, something here that was very grounded, a lot of earth energy, something here, Pisces, and this is your energy, water, where you weren't ready, you weren't ready to accept this offer. Four of Cups energy. This is you know now I'm not interested. Been there, done that kind of an energy. You're not in the moment at this time. There's something here that you're not seeing. And this is what I feel, Pisces. And there was an offer. Now this could be someone here that could be a mother energy or take it how it resonates, a father energy. It's the Empress. It's someone here who knows their self-worth. Someone who knows their values. This is someone here that brings in abundance. And this was what was being offered to you is what I feel, Pisces, or you are making this offer to someone here in the past. And there was a rejection here is what I'm feeling. Okay, what's in the present moment for Pisces? Knight of Swords. Now, this is that movement coming in really quickly. This is like an energy here where an air sign or you can have air in your chart. Yeah, moving quickly. And there's a lot of conflict and it's right in the middle of the reading here. Let's get another card out. Knight of Swords is someone here that doesn't think and just moves quickly. Queen of Swords, definitely air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is someone here that turned her back. You could have a breakup. This is where that ending came in. Okay, I feel with the Queen of Swords, this could be your energy or your person's where they cut out the relationship, put an end to it. Someone here that turned her back on conflict is what I'm feeling. And the way that these cards are coming in, here's the two directions, okay? And I was just saying the arrows. Where is that card? Okay. I just saw it. Okay. There's two paths here. Something that was stalemate here. Energy. A choice where you needed to trust your intuition. I feel that there's a lot of intuitive messages, clarity coming in here. And with the Queen of Swords, this is someone here. Who, is, who has a lot of confidence at this time, someone that moved away from competition. There's an energy here where there was a lot of drama in this situation here with the Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords is very communicative. It's very reckless. It's lashing out. It's rushed in communication, but it's a swift movement also. Queen of Swords here turning her back to this energy is telling me there's someone here who could be very independent. This could be your energy. Very determined and using a lot of facts and logic at this time. So let's see. And there could be a choice that you have here, Pisces. This could be between someone here that has an empress energy. This could be someone that you're married to, that you have a child with, that you're in a relationship with. 
And then there could be a choice here with the Queen of Swords is what I'm feeling. Well, let's get the let's get the revelation, the outcome of the near future. Show us what we need to see in the near future. What is in the near future? Yes, Eight of Cups energy here. And this is your energy. This is water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Let's get some more. This is being disappointed. This is feeling abandonment, feeling withdrawn. It's walking away. And the Ace of Swords, there's that truth. There's that breakthrough that's coming in here. This is a new awareness that's coming in. This is being very mindful because you have a vision here. This is a vision of truth that's being revealed to you here. Something here that brings in a breakthrough with the Ace of Swords. That brings in a new mindset, a new way of thinking. It's a renewing of the mind is what I'm feeling. Yeah, and there's the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is someone here that does not want to give up at all costs. There's a lot of energy here where I'm feeling a masculine and feminine energy where two people are very hard-headed. They're determined here. A lot of energy ready to cut someone's head off kind of an energy and moving away. It's like someone's holding back their feelings, how they feel for this person. This could be your energy or your person's. But I'm feeling that you, Pisces, do see someone here with a lot of love. Yep, there's a lot of love here. What I'm feeling is in the future energies here, we got the Hermit card. You can have Virgo. I feel after a time here, and I see how he's looking back, the Hermit, at this communication. You've gone within. You've gained a higher level of thinking, a higher conscience level. I feel that you could be withdrawn, your energy or your person is. I feel that you walked away from a situation here, okay, and this energy here or someone is walking away from you with the Eight of Cups. And there's a clarity where someone's cutting out a truth here. Something that brings in an awakening. With the Hermit card, this is that Virgo energy. I feel that this is someone here that's being alone. You could be soul searching, going through a lot of introspection. This is also someone here that was not communicating and that a sudden revelation comes in here. I feel after not communicating, the truth is revealed here. This could be your energy or your person. This is someone that you walked away from, Pisces. And I feel that there was no communication and that now communication comes in, revealing the way that you feel because the Page of Wands here is here. This is like a new beginning. This is Page of Wands is Airy, Leo, or Sag. It's an energy here of divine timing is in with the Ten of Wands energy here. This is something that brought you a lot of burden, a lot of stress. There's an energy here with the Page of Wands is that you want there's an energy where you're being open, you're speaking to someone, a message that's coming in here because it's been bringing in a lot of burden energy. I feel with the Page of Cups here at the bottom, this is a very lighthearted energy. This is a fresh energy after being burdened. It's like you're offering, this is where the, the fish is in the cup, to someone here that you, that you feel could be slipping away very quickly from you. This is where that unfinished symphony is coming in loud and clear to me. And this is making an offer because the King of Wands is here. This is that Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Now, Leo has a new moon at the end of January where it's going to empower and strengthen you, Pisces, whether you're a man or a woman. It's going to ha give you more inner courage to make decisions and taking action where you need to go because there is a decision that you're needing to make here. There's your energy, Queen of Cups. This is someone here who's going through a deep healing, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. And this is on a soul connection, okay? This could be an energy here where you're a mother, you're a father, and this is connecting to a sacred union, two of cups, your soulmate, a soul connection here. I feel that someone here is an empath with that water energy. This could be your energy because you're water. Now, I do see a very passionate connection here with two people, I'm seeing, where it wasn't moving, there was a lot of conflict, there was no communication here, and someone here that didn't want to let go is what I'm feeling. So let's get some clarifiers in the Romance Angels from Dorian Virtue. What do we have for my Pisces? 
So we have Virgo, Taurus, we have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, we have your sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, yep, it's saying make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take, I feel Pisces, this is your energy, I feel that you're right now going back and forth, you want to offer the truth you want to offer communication you want to clear this off of your chest okay hang on and i'm seeing the energy here of finances and career it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now it could be that finances are what's stopping you at this time or your person here from making a decision because there is an energy here of wedding there, this situation will involve a uh, marriage I feel with the Venus being here, this is someone here who knows their self-worth, their values. Someone here in the past that could have offered a marriage, offered a higher commitment with that Ace of Pentacles. And I feel the energy of you could have been pulled back from this situation because you weren't open to trusting this person is what I'm feeling. I feel that between both of you, you have a lot of passion here with that Aries, with the King of Wands. There's a very passionate connection between the both of you. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you here. You are getting, and you are, and I just heard something. You are getting an intuitive messages. You're feeling, you're feeling anxiety. You're feeling, there's an energy here where you're feeling a block. With the paying attention to the red flags, there's a need for you to trust your intuition. It's because you will be aligned. You have heaven's help here. You will know which road to pick here. There's a need for you to go within because within is where the answers are here. This is where the keys are. It's within. You do have a lot of higher powers here. You're someone here, Pisces, who's very in tuned with the sacred knowledge. You're someone here who's a seer, who's a healer. This is someone here that has Virgo in their chart. I'm feeling the energy where you could have a third eye awakening going on right now. And there's something's being brought to your intu intuition here where you need to clear a karmic cycle out where there's been a lot of conflict, a lot of competition here also. Okay, yep. And it's saying unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Someone here has been working on their self, is what I'm feeling. You've been working on yourself, bringing in self-healing, doing the I am affirmations. And someone here is like trying to catch you as, as you're walking away. Or this could be your person's energy. It's like someone here wants to move on because this wasn't bringing in equal give and take, is what I'm feeling. And someone doesn't want to let it go. It's because both energies need to balance. The Empress here knows her self-worth and knows her values, is what I'm feeling. Bringing in abundance, and it needs to match in vibrational energy levels here. So someone needs to work on their self-love, bringing up their confidence, is what I'm feeling. Someone here is feeling withdrawn and could have abandonment issues from the past, is what I was feeling. So Pisces, that's what I have for you today. I hope this reading helped you. And I hope that I can send you tons of positive energy, tons of love, and tons of light. Thank you, Pisces. We'll see you soon. Bye.